What's up guys, today I've got another Funko Pop haul video for you. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it and look at what new pops I've got. They're awesome. Hey there nerds, today I've got another Funko Pop haul video for you and I've picked up a couple of really awesome pops and I thought I would just share that with you. Okay, so the first one, it's really special, it's from a really awesome show that I've been watching uh, the last few months, it's so amazing. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the first pop. And it is... I'm Mr. Meeseeks, Mr. Meeseeks. look at me! Everyone. So, uh, Mr. Meeseeks is an awesome character from Rick and Morty, it's really cool. Uh, he basically gets summoned by the little box, uh, and he basically will do any... It'll fulfill any task that you ask of him. Uh, but in the episode, the Jerry asks him to help improve his golf game, which is a very unlikely task. So therefore, the Mr. Meeseeks uh, carries on living because they, they 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 die out once they've done their task. And the whole the Meeseeks don't like to exist for very long, so they all start getting frustrated. And he starts making more of himself to try and help. And then there's a load of suicidal killer Meeseeks everywhere. So. Yeah, he's a really cool, interesting looking character. I love the colour of him. On the back of the box, the other characters there, I would like to get a lot of the other uh, Funko Pops from this line. Some really cool characters there. And the box art's really cool. Ooh, cats on it. Okay. So let's get him out of the box and have a look at him. Okay, there's Mr. Meeseeks. He's a really skinny body. But he's got his little funny face there. There are a couple of other variants of this, an exclusive variant and then a, a chase. But I'm not going to pay you a load of stupid money to get a chase variant of Mr. Meat Seeks. If I come across it, I'd get it, but not for silly money. But yeah, he's got a really skinny body. He does come with a stand so he can stand up. He's very top heavy. I can feel him wanting to topple over already. But yeah, really cool. Really chuffed to get him. That was one of the characters I definitely wanted to get if I started a Rick and Morty collection. Okay, next up is a, was an awesome find. I found this in a game. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's retired now, and um, I've left the stickers on and everything for now. The box is a little bit beat up, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, and it is uh, Peter Baelish from uh, Game of Thrones. So as you can see, it was uh, 9.99 in the sale. The box is a bit battered. The box is a bit beat up at the bottom there, and on the back's a bit bowed. It's not, yeah, it's not the end of the world though. It looks pretty decent in condition. So there we go, we've got the stickers off. So it's Peter Baelish, little finger as he's known in Game of Thrones. And he's a bit of a scumbag, isn't he? And uh, yeah, so yeah, I mean, I've been on a bit of a Game of Thrones collecting kick lately, so I've been trying to try and find them. Some of these are getting a bit hard to find. So uh, yeah, let's get him out of the box and have a look at him. Yeah, so there he is, Peter Baelish. He looks really like the guy that plays him. He does really look like the character. And he's got his little, uh, he's got his little necklace the detail, and it's pretty good. He's got a little pouch there, but other than that, it's not a lot to see. You know, he's just a regular-looking guy character. But yeah, really tough to get him for the collection. So last up for today, I only got three today. It is uh, another Street Fighter pop. Really tough to get this one. Uh, it's one of my favourite characters to to use uh, in Street Fighter. I think. And he's just one of the coolest looking characters from Street Fighter. He, he's, um, he's pretty much a bad guy, I guess. Uh, and he is Akuma. Now this Akuma pop, I think it was, it was exclusive somewhere in America. I'm not, I can't remember exactly where. Here it's got no stick or nothing. I, I managed to get hold of it really quite, che quite cheap, really. I just come across it while I was browsing online. But yeah, love Akuma. Really looking, cool looking character, and the pop looks really awesome. So let's get him out of the box and have a look. Right, here he is. Looks so cool. If, if you were going to put a pop out of the box, which I'm not an out of box collector, but this one is one I would put out of the box. He's got his, his little logo on the back there. The hair looks fantastic. I mean, the only other sorts of hairs that come close to this would be like the Super Saiyan Dragon Ball Z ones, but this pop is fantastic. He's got his pose as well. He's got like the rope around his wrist. Uh, he's got his like massive bead necklace. 
He looks fantastic. Really awesome. He's got to go for the hair. Look at the hair. Really cool. Yeah, really chuffed to get him. He's amazing. Really cool. Okay, guys, thanks for watching my latest Funko Pop haul. Uh, I know it's only three pops, sorry about that. I've, I've got more coming and stuff, but uh, yeah, they're just the three I had. I needed. I just wanted to show, get these three out now and show you them because I was really chuffed with all three of those. And the mix of fandoms there. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Please leave some comments in the comment section below about what you thought of the pops I've shown today. Uh, have you got any of these, they ones you want? Uh, what pops are you looking to try and pick up uh, in the next uh, few weeks or maybe get for Christmas? If you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot more Funko Pop unboxings, other collectibles, movie reviews, and other nerdy stuff. Uh, hit the little bell notification button if you do subscribe, and that will notify you when my videos are uploaded. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy. Oh.